This is code.org. Let's take a look at what we're doing. AP pseudo variables, AP reference sheet. The AP reference sheet shows how variable assignment questions will be represented on the exam. Read through this section of the reference sheet and answer the question. So keep in mind, instead of equal signs, this pretty much means equals, right? So A is gonna be assigned this expression or in the block A expression. So A equals whatever's over here. Display expression, that will be slapped onto the screen. This is inputting text, equals, yep. And then how random works, random parentheses, that's similar to what we see, or random with a block. All right, practice question. The program below is run. Which of the following could not possibly be an output from that program? Now keep in mind, your numbers might be different than mine. Probably are, so we're just talking about this. I wanna get you thinking about it. All right. So random, A is going to be assigned, right? The expression is going to be assigned to A, assigns. So A is going to equal whatever this does. What's random do? Random 1, 10. Well, let's double check. Can this return 10? Um, for example, random 1, 3 could return 1, 2, 3. Okay, so random 1, 10. All right, so A's value would either be equal to, well, any number 1 through 10. Now what, what about B? B's new value is equal to oh, any value 10 through 20. All right, so we would display A, display A. So these two have to first display the exact same number because we're only running random once up here. So let's say A is seven. Okay, so this would display A, seven, display seven. Let's say B is 12. Okay, well then this would display 12 and 12. So we need to watch for a few things. This and this must match, this and this much match, this ha and this have to be between 1 and 10. This and this have to be between 10 and 20. And again, we're not assigning A more than once. It gets a random number way up here, and so it would still be exactly the same when we print it out here and here. Let's go look. All right. 1, 1, 20, 20. So the first two match. Yep. First two, second two match. Match. What? Uh oh So does 10 and 10 work? Let's look. Yep. You see how this ends at 10 and it can go all the way up or all the way down, right? 1, 2, 3, 1 through 3, 1, 2, 10. So this could be 10 and that could be 10. So that one works. These match 2 or 11. 1 and 1, that's not an 11. 20 and 20, that works. This is impossible because we are printing out A, A, B, B. B can't be 5, but they also have to match. If we print A twice in a row, A's value can't change. Same with B. There's no changing while displaying it. And again, make sure you are doing this on your own and really think about this stuff. It's important to understand it for the test.